Once you take that first carry, it just settles all the nerves for me and I think it just, it also brings energy to, to my teammates, which you want to do obviously as a, as a forward and, and yeah, I find it just, it lifts me up as well as the team. I've heard great things about Des and what he brings to a team and I think it, it's good for us as a club because I've heard things that, you know, he can be tough on you, but then, you know, can also, um, he has those good one-on-one -on -one relationships, which, um, you know, help players to improve and definitely looking forward to that. That's a big play by a front rower. And all of his teammates know it. They get around him, the big man. 12 months ago, you know, we sat down after your 2022 season and you kind of said that you weren't really happy with the way, you know, your year went. But you look back now, 12 months on, are you happy with season 2023? Yeah, definitely. I'm uh, pretty proud of, uh, about my season this year. Um, I think it all just came down to my training through the preseason. I didn't. Um, obviously come back in good shape from, from the Tonga uh, World Cup but um, Cameron and the performance staff here done a great job in, in getting me into good shape and um, that just helped me to stay consistent throughout the year with my body and didn't have any serious injuries, just had a few niggling ones but um, I think that was a big um, reason why I had a good season. What do you think the biggest motivator was for turning around your season from 22 to 23? Uh, yeah, just I knew I didn't play at my best uh, last year and that was the biggest motivator for me and, and yeah, that just pushed me to train hard during the preseason and uh, wanting to be back in the Origin Arena and I was lucky enough to get back in there and it wasn't one thing that motivated, there was a few, um, few things so uh, I'm glad it all turned out uh, really good. I didn't mind playing off the bench at the start of the year, but then, um, yeah, obviously with Jimmy uh, going out to injury, uh, it was just really good to, you know, play consistent starting footy and, um, yeah, that, that sort of just pushed me to, um, you know, just cement my spot, I guess, yeah. It's Potter Waker again, getting busy in the leg drive, metres after. He's back to his origin level best. You mentioned about Origin, but I want to go to Game 1 first of all when Billy selected his first initial squad and, and you missed out. Were you, were you disappointed? Yeah, obviously um, I was disappointed. Um, I did understand where he was coming from with that, but it didn't um, affect me with you know how I still wanted to keep playing good footy and um, it sort of just kept driving me to um, play good and, and then, yeah, lucky enough I was um, able to get the chance to play in um, Game 2. Did missing out in Game 1 fire you up? Because I think I think the next two games after that were probably two of your best of the season. You know, that did you set yourself a personal goal? You went, you know what? I'm going to prove if, if any injuries happen, I want to prove to Billy that I'm the man to, to fill the role. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, when I didn't get the, the opportunity, that sort of just drove me to um, to keep playing good footy and, and not just, you know, have my head down. And, and I did want to make sure that I was still putting myself in a good position because. I know footy these days, um, anything can happen with injuries and yeah, lucky enough, uh, injuries did happen and I was able to get my opportunity. 13 runs, 138 run metres, 48 post contact metres, 16 tackles. What was it like playing under Billy Slater? Yeah, it was really good uh, for me. Uh, he definitely knows uh, his things about footy and um, he's really detailed, but uh, I think he just, the main thing I took out of it was um, he treats everyone the same, um, whether you've been there uh, 20 times playing Origin or whether um, it's your first game and um, we sort of just bring everyone together um, and just felt like uh, we were like a family and, um, and it definitely felt like that when we got out into the field. You're uh, arguably now a, a pack leader in a sense, you've uh, you know, got to think 125 odd games under your, under your belt now, can you you pinch yourself on where you're at the moment and, and do you enjoy that role now of being one of the older players and you've got this next crop of talent coming through, Isaac Sumalawi was one who obviously joined the, the, the you know, the forward pack, do you, you're looking, you know, you're liking that role now of being one of the older players in the team? Yeah, for sure, I'm, I'm definitely um, enjoying that role. Uh, I'm still like to think I'm pretty young, I'm, I'm only 23, uh, 24 in November, so um, but I think it's, it's just great for us as a forward pack, we've still got so much youth and um, but then we also have like experience with Foz and, and Isaac still there, Isaac Liu is still there to um, help us out and um, yeah I'm definitely enjoying the role. Um, I'm not so much, I wouldn't consider myself, I speak a lot but um, I just try and lead uh, through my actions but I also know that um, my input um, 
in the team is um, you know they, everyone considers it. So um, it's definitely a role that I, I still want to keep improving on.